Hi, I'm John Weston, and I'm going to show you how to create an account in Weebly and to create a basic site. Firstly, we need to find the Weebly website. If you type Weebly into Google, you should find www.weebly.com. Click on this link and it takes us to the website for Weebly. Now, the first time you enter the site, you need to use the sign up button. It's in the top right hand corner. Now, we recommend you use your RMIT email account to sign up. So click on the red Google Plus sign up button. Next, it will ask you which of your accounts you want to use to sign up. Click on the account you want to use enter your information, like your password, and then you will be entered into Weebly. Now, the first time you sign in, it will automatically help you to start creating a site. But if you are on the Weebly homepage, you can see here we're logged in, my name in the top right hand corner. You click on the drop down menu next to my site and select Add site. So the first thing that it asks you to do is to choose a theme for your website. The theme is the basic background style that you will use. There are many different themes on Weebly and you can spend time looking at the different options. For now, I'm going to pick a theme for us to get started. Don't worry, you can change your theme later if it's not appropriate or you change your mind. If you click on the theme, it will show you a preview of the theme so you can look at what it looks like before you choose it. And when you're happy with your theme choice, you click on the blue Start Editing button. And you can see here it tells us that it's creating our site. So the first thing it asks us to do is to choose our website domain. Now this is the address that people use to find your website. Now we've chosen the free version. In the free version, you, use, you need to select the option use a subdomain of weebly.com. This means that weebly.com is in the name of your site. Now type the address you want to have into the box and you will see on the right that it tells you whether it's been taken which means somebody else has used it and therefore you cannot use it or it will tell you that it's available. You need to choose one that's available and therefore is free for you to use for your site. And when you click on continue, this now is your site ready for you to build. And I will explain more about how you build your site in another video.